Hi, I'm Tom with the FCB Lounge channel and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to import PDF files into FreeCAD. There are two options how you can import PDF into FreeCAD as a raster, basically image, or as a vector object. The first example I will show you is this floor plan of a garage which we will import as a raster image and the second example will be this mechanical part which we will import as a vector object. So if you want to import PDF, any PDF into FreeCAD you have a problem because by default if you go to the import options by default FreeCAD does not support importing PDF file format. So what we will have to do is to convert the PDF into another format. And for that we will use different open source software than FreeCAD. And for the raster PDF import we will be using GIMP which is image manipulation software. The link to the GIMP download is in the description box below. So now I'm in the GIMP software and here I want to open my PDF. So I will go to File, Open and locate my PDF on my disk and it's this Garage A102. So I will open it and the Open dialog, you can set the width and the height of the uh, resulting raster image. So uh, don't make it just too small because it will, will not be precise enough but don't make it too big because then it's uh, too resource intensive. So let's say I will make the width 3000 and the height is adjusted accordingly and I will open the PDF. It processes and you can see that it's open as a raster object. There's a transparency here so actually I can add a white background by going to the by going to the layers and selecting create a new layer and I will select it I will name it background and select fill with and I will fill with white hit OK and it was placed on the top of my uh, of my uh, image so I will move it down by selecting it and using this move down button so now I have the white background and now I can export this from GIMP and create a PNG file so I will go to file again and use the export as option and here I will just change the name from PDF to PNG. Use PNG not JPEG because PNG is more precise. And I will use the default default setting. I will, ju I will just click uh, export. So now if I look at my documents folder I can see the PNG file which is raster image which looks like this. So I can close it and I can go to FreeCAD and import it as any other raster image. So I have a separate tutorial about this. You can watch that. It will be linked in the description box below. So here only quickly I will import the raster file. Look at it from the top. And what you need to do then is to calibrate, calibrate the size so I know this distance is 4800 so I will click here click here it will be 4800 and this is basically the import but you can see that if you are importing it this way you can only use it as an underlay to trace over it and you cannot use the geometry of the PDF directly. So this is why I will also show you the second option and that's importing the PDF as a vector object. And we will again have to convert the PDF and this time we will be using the Inkscape 
free open source software. The link to downloading Inkscape will be in the description box below again. So here I'm in Inkscape and again I will want to open the PDF so I will go to file and open and I will choose the mechanical part PDF and open the file and again I will use the default settings hit OK and you can see that the PDF is imported but in Inkscape it's not just an image but it's uh, independent objects already vector objects so now we have two options we can save either as an SVG vector file or a DXF vector file. I will show you both of the options. So the first one SVG I will go to file save as and I will leave the SVG default file format. I will hit save and if you want to save as D DXF I will go to file save as and instead of uh, file type SVG I will choose the DXF R14 this is quite old but it will be good for us so I will also use the default uh, default settings and I will hit OK so now in my documents folder I have both the SVG file and the DXF file so now I can switch to FreeCAD I will start a new file because this is a new document and first I will import the SVG so I will go to file I will go to import and I've got all of the imported file filtered so I can select the mechanical part SVG and I will hit open now it's important to open SVG as a geometry so we will hit open and you can see if I look at it from the top that the geometry is imported and uh, all of these objects uh, are FreeCAD objects and I can work with them inside of FreeCAD and use the geometry as a basis uh, of creating geometry inside of FreeCAD in similar way we can import the DXF file so again I will create a new document and here I will go to file and import and I will choose the DXF file hit open I will choose this recommended default individual part shapes I will hit OK and this imports the DXF you can see the, the line geometry is a bit different than the SVG import and here I can work with uh, work with these geometries now in both cases when I import this converted PDF and either through DXF or the SVG I will show it here it's important to set the scale because you can see that this uh, line should be 90 millimeters long and if I measure it you can see that it's 670 something millimeters long so I have to set the scale how would I do that I will use the drafts tool the scale tool and to do that first I will create a reference line with the length the desired length so I will I will fire up this line tool I've got my snapping turned to uh, endpoint and I will click here and draw a horizontal line which will be 90 millimeters long so it ends here and now I will box select all of these objects and fire up the scale tool and now it's asking me to the point around which it should be scaled so I will again snap to this end point and now in the scale task panel I make sure that I have uniform scaling checked copy is not checked and I will pick from two points so now I'm actually selecting the original length so it will be this point and it's asking me a new length which will be 
and I have to hover my mouse here over the line that I have created and you can see the preview of the scaled object and I can now hit OK and the, all of the selected objects are scaled and I will delete this line and you can see if I zoom here select this line and now measure it it's exactly 90 millimeters so the object is scaled correctly now if I wanted to make a pad out of this use the geometry I will just clean it up so using the box selection I will clean the dimensions like so and box element selection for this one and this one also delete these two or three again box element selection and now I want to create pad out of this so I will create I will select these four lines and convert them to sketch using the draft to sketch and this created this sketch object and now I can select the sketch object and go to the part workbench and extrude it and let's say extrude it 20 millimeters and you can see that I have got my I have got my extrusion and I can use the other geometry maybe to create holes etc so this is the end of the tutorial so now you know how to import PDF files into FreeCAD using conversion through DXF through SVG files or through a image PNG file. If you like tutorials like this one, consider supporting the FCB Lounge channel by donating through the Ko-Fi page. The link is in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.